Richard Lockett. I'm one of the founders of the Dingwall Wind Cooperative and today we're finally at last building the wind turbine. Dingwall Wind Cooperative was set up last year in 2013 where we ran a share offer uh, and local people bought shares in this turbine. So there's about 180 members of the cooperative, all of whom own a, own a share in this turbine that's being built today. Uh, my name's Mark, Mark Cutting, and I'm uh, from Mosscliff Environmental. This is by far the greenest environmentally friendly approach and uh, gives people green energy. So I think it's the way to go. Hi, I'm Miles, and I've got involved with the wind turbine here as I've been around the farm for many years. It ticked a lot of boxes for me, the fact that it's uh, community owned, it's a good use of a little bit of land and also there's uh, some of the profits made from the generating electricity goes into a community fund so even those who couldn't afford to buy shares in the co-op uh, they can access the, the profits that the turbine makes. I'm David Lockett. Uh, this is uh, Knockbane Farm where I've been since 1971 and this is the first time, in the, certainly in this local area, where there's been an opportunity for local people to have a wind turbine of their own. We thought it'd be uh, a good idea to at least attempt to start a wind cooperative which might be funded locally and we're very lucky that that's been very successful. The main thing is that local people can get a financial benefit from something that they're going to live with for the next 20 years. I would like to see the various cooperative projects in Scotland that are uh, nearly in completion stage, uh, see them be successful and then of course people will um, hopefully follow and it'll become um, a more common way of doing this sort of thing and uh, let's hope that is the case.